is so crushy! Yeah! Hi everyone, it's me, Crash! Yeah! How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are staying safe and stay nice! Yeah! Alrighty, time for another video. For this video, I will be doing something we haven't done before. It's a fursuit review! Yeah! Of my fursuit! Ah! I've had this fursuit of Crash for five years now. I think almost six years actually. So a long, long time. And I still haven't made ever a fursuit review of it. This fursuit was made by Furry Machine Studios, uh, which is also known as Zink Tiger or Sucrinos in Brazil. He is an amazing, amazing, amazing fursuit maker. So, spoiler ahead, I really like my fursuit, as you might know. Uh, so I'm gonna be pretty much going over the details of my fursuit, what I think of them, uh, making critique of the things I don't like about it. Also, something that you guys must keep in mind is this fursuit is very, very old. It's like six years old, so, Anything that I don't like about, about my first suit, maybe by now, Furry Machine very likely already corrected any sort of issue that I might, might have had with it. So, they improved a lot ever since. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. They're a lot better now and developed a lot of new things from the first time they made my first suit. So, I'm gonna go over the very good stuff about it and the stuff that is not so good about it. And it's pretty much gonna let you guys know what I think of my first suit and show the details of it. So, yeah, time to show it to you guys. Crash! Yeah! Well, of course, since we're gonna be reviewing my fursuit, I will have to, you know, get my head off. So, maybe it is time for a face reveal. What? You didn't think I was really gonna show you my face, did you? Ah, na na na! If you wanna see my face, well, I'll do a face review someday when maybe I get like a uh, hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah, I'm saying like a very big number because I'll never get there anyway. So yeah. All right, let's let's get it started. Yes, I will be Lars today. Ha! Hola, it's about Lars. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> okay, talking about my first suit. This is Crash Head. Oh no, I've been decapitated. Blah! All right, so what do I think of my head? First of all, the vision. How, how well can I see in it? Well, I think I really like the vision in my fursuit compared to other fursuits I've ever worn on my head. I think mine is pretty much above average at least. Uh, the kind of vision I have with it, it's pretty much like, I, I wanna say I have a wide view here. Like most fursuits, my fursuit head does have like a blind spot in the middle that is about this thick. It's a little thicker than Lara's first suit head, yeah. About this thick, which I can't see exactly forward. So that's why sometimes you see me like do a little bit of this or this to actually see forward, which is fine. Most first suit heads have that uh, blind spot in the middle because of the, the, the power of your face. Uh, the way I see through this, it's the head actually has like a small grating thing here where which I can see through but it's very well done you cannot really tell that there's not there's like little holes in my eye that I'm looking through so yeah I really like it really like it the vision is probably one of the pros of the fursuit and another thing that I really really like about my fursuit head is it's extremely light this fursuit head it's super super light it's entirely made of foam and, and uh, fabric and fur obviously so it's very very light I would say that it weighs a pound. It's like it's super light. Maybe less than a pound. I don't know. It's 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 it doesn't bother you. Like it doesn't weigh at all on your head. You know. However, because it's so light, it's also a little sensitive. Um, I've had. I, I've always been kind of worried about like is mushing it too much and hoping it like would get damaged somehow. I it hasn't got damaged much in like six years of me traveling around in it and put it in my bag and stuff like that. So I would say that it is actually rather durable, although it might not be as durable as like a resin, very thick fursuit head, but it's also super light and that's super good because it allows me to like jump around and do very crazy stuff without getting tired too fast. And because I live in Brazil, which is super hot, it's very nice to have a fursuit head, head that is light and easy to breathe in because that helps with the heat that we have to deal with here. So yeah, so big, big pros for the vision and how light the fursuit is. Now, for the looks, I really love the looks of uh, Zeng's fursuits. Of course, looks are a little uh, 
kind of like personal opinions. Some people like certain types of fursuits over others, but I really like my fursuit head. I think one of the best things that Zeke does, and he's one of the best fursuit makers that I can think of at this specific thing, is doing the follow me eyes effect. Look at this. Oh, Crash can follow you and look at you no matter where. And that gives a lot of expression to the fursuit because I can look kind of angry like this. Oh, I'm angry. Or kind of sexy like this. Oh, sexy, crashy, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Like cute puppy eyes. You can really like, do a lot of things if you really know how to play with your your follow me eyes and do this and that. It's pretty pretty nice. Uh, what I don't like a lot of my, about my first one, that's not really uh, Zeng's fault because I asked that at the time. And nowadays I would have changed if I could. It's the hair. I would have liked the hair to be a little longer. And if I could ever make like a Crash 2.0, I probably ask for a hair more like Lara's hair, like a little longer because well, Crash has longer hair, like the, the actual persona, right? So, yeah, I really have nothing to complain about when it comes to the fursuit head. I think it's, it's, I love it. Uh, I really like the fursuit head. My fursuit head has, as you guys might have noticed, a moving jaw. And not many fursuits have moving jaws, but in my opinion, Zeng is extremely good at making moving jaws. And ever since I got the fursuit, my moving jaw always worked very well with me. When I speak, it really goes down, yeah, 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 which is awesome. So, what I think of that is that uh, how that works, it has like a small thingy here in my fursuit head that attaches to my head, uh, like around here, right? And it attaches to my chin, and when I move my chin, the, the mouth just goes nyah, 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 nyah. And it's cute because you can make more expressions, and well, your mouth moves when you're talking, which is nice. It also helps with breathing, because uh, it's nice to breathe through like the whole of the open mouth. It makes like more breathable in the fursuit. Not to mention that it makes my voice more audible when I talk, it's not as muffled because there's not like completely enclosed inside. So I definitely give like a 10 out of 10 for the fursuit head. I absolutely love fursuit heads by Zeng, they're amazing, they're lovely. I would, my, the only thing I would say is like, because they're made of foam and so light, uh, it's nice to be careful with them so that they don't get like damaged easily. Buy a very nice casing or something like that to protect them, right? So yeah, I love him. Ah, I love Crash. Mm -hmm. That's so egocentrical, I'm kissing myself. Oh. <sighs> All right, bye bye head. Let's talk about the other parts of my fursuit. Those are my old hands, my old fursuit hands, the ones I got with the fursuit when I first bought it. They are nice. I like my, I always like my hands. What I didn't like about them on the beginning was that they're four fingers. I do not recommend you getting a four finger fursuit hand. Some people like it, but I don't like it too much because they end up having a little too much empty room at the tips here. They will we go around. But although overall they were very uh, uh, practical, they're very comfortable, easy to grab, easy to m manipulate things, I would just recommend you a five finger glove that I much prefer. Once again, this is not really Zeng's fault because uh, I asked for it, but overall I think five finger first suit hands are better, that's pretty much my recommendation. So eventually those got kind of worn out because I grabbed things a lot, I have grabby hands, and I ended up buying new first suit hands that you guys might have seen in other videos of mine, so these are kind of like retired now. But yeah, so yeah. But yeah, they're dice hands. Tail. Oh, a fursuit tail. This is my tail. It's also very old. I've been thinking of buying a new fur, uh, fursuit tail. Once again, my fursuit is six years old. So with all the traveling I've done with it, all the parkour and jumping and fighting and whatever crazy things I've done in my fursuit, it has a lot of wear and tear. With the tail, uh, the tail by Zeng is very simple, uh, though this one I got, but it's also very, very good and very effective. It's also made of foam. It's made of foam, so it makes a very good pillow, and uh, it, it just works. It just really works. Uh, he makes a lot of different tails nowadays. He's, he became a lot better and more variety in it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you can ask for different sizes and, and, and different types of tails. Mine was very simple. Has a, a very simple belt. Uh, uh, thing here, bad belt hole, I use the belt and I use the belt around my waist to keep the tail up and it just works, it's very nice. My tail ended up, uh, the thing is like for my tail I've had it for so long and I always packed in so many bags I almost forgot in my bag for way too long, it ended up bending a little so it has this, this little curve that is not proper for it because of all the, the wear and tear it went through so it's not really a fair assessment of how good the tail was when I first got it so I don't want to talk too much about it because it really just it's pretty pretty old by now, but the tail is pretty good. Very very light as well. I think one of the best things about Zeng's fursuits is that they're very very light, very practical and easy to wear, easy to take off. It never feels like you're uh, in that armor and it's too hot. And for someone who lives in Brazil, that's very very good because it's too hot in here. And if someone who's as active as me likes to jump and make videos all the time, you don't want to have a fursuit that's too much 
too bulky and, and, and heavy to use because that's just gonna tire yourself too fast. The body. Okay, my first tip body, I really like. Uh, when Zink first made this, it was a little uh, a baggy on me, and the reason was because I was very muscular at the time, but then I, I kind of slimmed down. So when I first got it, it was a little big, and I had to go back to Zing and ask for a little adjustments, which happens a lot. I did not get the, the silver taping uh, for my first suit, it was just measurements, so it was not easy for him to get the perfect uh, uh, number for me. So I had to make those adjustments to make it a little tighter in my body because I really like those tight fursuits that are really skin tight. And eventually we got this, we got it perfectly right. So don't worry about that. That's pretty much a one-off thing that happened with me because my body changed a lot from the time I asked the fursuit to the time I got it because I stopped working out and I slimmed down a lot. I was very, very muscular before getting the fursuit. And when I got it, I was much skinnier. So yeah, but an advice for any fursuit that you get, always try to get it a little bigger than what you are because it's easy to make a first to tighter but it's harder to make it uh, 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 bigger if you somehow got bigger over time and first would take a long time to, to make so when you order a first suit often it will take like a few months until you actually get it or maybe even years depending on the maker so always try to get slightly bigger than you expect yourself to be and if it's too big just trim it down that's pretty easy uh, uh every first maker has this kind of uh, are used to doing this kind of adjustment so yeah i really like my body it's a little hot for being kind of skin tight but i really like it the fur of course is a little old from how much i used it but it really held up all these years the zipper never got stuck which is pretty nice and i love it so yeah footballs yeah these are my old old footballs they are great i always love my footballs because, well, first of all, I think they're cute. And second of all, they are very, very effective. They have this uh, padded down. And yes, it's cute to have the padded footballs underneath, but they will get dirty super fast. So what I recommend to you is, and Zeng is excellent at this, buy one football that is like this, that is practical, and you can actually walk around the streets and around the cons without getting dirty or slipping all over the place. And then you buy like a cute padded sole football for pictures and stuff like that because it's cute and adorable when everybody loves paws, right? So yeah, I would give like pretty much a 10 out of 10 for my fursuit head and for the rest of the body, even though it's simple, out of my choice, I would definitely say that it's everything works well, it's very light, very very durable because I've been with it for 10 years and still holding up, even though of course there was like some, some things going damage here and there but like everything else does. So yeah, I'll give it a 10 to my first dude. I love, 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 love my first dude. Love, 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 love. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Zeng. I know maybe I can, can get, get some kind of bias because uh, Zeng, yes, is my friend and I've had this fursuit for so long and I love it, but it is what it is. I love his fursuit. He's an excellent fursuit maker, as are many others. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to find out where uh, to contact Zeng, he goes by Furry Machine on Twitter. Check him out. He's amazing. He's lovely. Mwah! Oh my God, I'm Lars. Ah, this is so weird. All right. Love you guys. I hope you guys have a nice, nicey, 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 nicey day. Ciao.